Yes, sure. Well, obviously there have been lots of advances in cancer immunotherapies, but the point is that these new therapies still only work for a minority of people and there are still many bottlenecks that have to be overcome. Um, one of these is that checkpoint inhibitors are often associated with um, fairly robust toxicities. Um, there are more than one um, checkpoint that needs to be inhibited and just inhibiting one or two is often not enough. Um, it's also the case that even when you do manage to induce very good T-cell responses, they still fail to actually enter the tumour mass. So you might have a lot of circulating T-cells but they're not much use to you because they're not actually getting to the site of action which is inside the tumour. Well, the role of Tregs in nature is to suppress unwanted um, autoimmune and inflammatory diseases. So by depleting Tregs, what you're actually doing is lowering the threshold for immune activation. So you get much better um, immune responses in general. And what we are starting to understand is that this isn't simply a matter of getting better T cell responses. By lowering this threshold for immune activation, you're actually altering the tumour microenvironment as well. And the reason for this is because T cells actually interact with, for example, tumour blood vessels. So if you activate your T cells, the T cells activate blood vessels that then allow in more T cells. So you set up um, a situation which is more conducive, really, to overcoming one of the bottlenecks I was talking about, which is effective T cell infiltration. Well, our sort of main findings are that T cells interact with blood vessels. So um, I think the findings that we have could inform new therapies designed to get T cells to talk to blood vessels. So arm T cells that you're putting into a patient with the necessary signals to allow them to interact with blood vessels, to condition them in the way that I, that I mentioned earlier, to activate them, to enable them to act as better portals, if you like, for T cell entry. Um, also, it opens up doors for combination therapies, so perhaps we should think, be thinking about combining immunotherapies with drugs um, that are used to target the tumour vasculature. Maybe by putting the two things together, you can use your immune response more effectively by getting those cells to where they're meant to be.